prominent Philippine official dead. The passing of Albert del Rosario, former foreign minister of the Philippines, has left a void in the country's political sphere. Del Rosario, who loudly opposed China, passed away at the age of 83 while en route to the United States. The cause of his death was not specified by the Department of Foreign Affairs DFA, which released a statement announcing his demise. Born in Manila in 1939, Rosario graduated with a degree in economics from New York University and later became a vocal critic of China. Welcome back to NDP News, the best place to stay up to date on current international affairs. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our future content. Today, we'll look at the life of Albert del Rosario, his early life, political career, and his contributions to the sovereignty of the Philippines. During his tenure as foreign minister under Philippine President Benigno Aquino from 2011 to 2016, Rosario was a staunch advocate of protecting and advancing national security, as well as promoting the rights and welfare of Filipinos. He was widely respected for his consummate diplomatic skills and unwavering commitment to public service. In a tweet, Foreign Affairs Secretary Enrique Manalo hailed him as an inspiring leader who led the DFA with integrity. Relations with Beijing soured during Rosario's tenure, which was marked by a fierce standoff in 2012 in Scarborough Shoal, a chain of reefs and rocks 240 kilometers 150 miles west of the main Philippine island of Luzon. He was behind two prominent legal cases against China, including a 2013 case at an international tribunal that eventually struck down China's claims to most of the resource-rich South China Sea waterway. He continued his criticism of China even even after leaving office, by holding public forums organized by his think tank and writing opinion columns in local newspapers. In March 2019, Rosario filed a complaint against Chinese officials at the International Criminal Court, alleging crimes against humanity over the supposed environmental fallout of Beijing's activities in the South China Sea. Although the complaint was eventually dismissed because China is not a state party to the Rome Statute that established the court, his move was seen as a bold and courageous stand against a rising global superpower. Despite his valiant efforts to uphold Philippine sovereignty and protect the rights of Filipinos, he faced retaliation from the Chinese government. Months after filing the ICC case, he was denied entry to Hong Kong, which critics saw as a clear attempt by Beijing to silence him. Family Background and Early Life Rosario, a well-known political figure in the Philippines, was born in Manila on November 14, 1939 to Luis del Rosario and Amparo Ferreros. His family had a rich history and connection to some of the country's significant historical figures. His great-grandmother, Teresa Sempio, was a sister of Felipa Sempio, who was the mother of Gregorio del Pilar, a national hero in the Philippines. Moreover, his grandfather, Judge Simplicio Sempio del Rosario, was a delegate to the Malolos Congress where the country's first constitution was ratified. Rosario's early education began at Xavier High School in New York, where he excelled in academics and sports. After completing his high school education, he went on to attend New York University, where he pursued a degree in economics. He displayed an impressive academic performance, and in recognition of his achievements, he was inducted into the Xavier High School Hall of Fame in 2006. Rosario's family has also made a name in the entertainment industry, with his nephew Monsor del Rosario gaining popularity as an actor, martial artist, and former Makati congressman. Now, if you liked the video so far, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and give the video a like. Albert del Rosario, a life of public service. Before venturing into politics, Rosario made a name for himself in the business sector, serving on the board of several companies. He was known for his leadership skills and served as chair of the Philippine Strat-based Consultancy and the Makati Foundation for Education. Additionally, he was the president of Gotuaco, Rosario Insurance Brokers, and Philippine Telecommunications Investment Corps. During Corazon Aquino's presidency, Rosario worked closely with her and accompanied her on state visits to the United States. In recognition of his contribution to the country, Del Rosario was appointed as the Philippine ambassador to the United States, under then President Gloria Arroyo from 2001 to 2006. He played an instrumental role in strengthening the diplomatic ties between the Philippines and the United States during his tenure as the ambassador. Despite being a political figure, 
Rosario never shied away from expressing his opinions on political matters. In 2008, he wrote an article stating his opposition to the emergency rule imposed by then-President Gloria Arroyo. He argued that the emergency rule was unjustifiable and could not defend it to the United States government. Following his tenure as ambassador, Rosario returned to the private sector, but his passion for public service never waned. In 2011, Benino Aquino appointed him as the Secretary of Foreign Affairs, a post he held until 2016. His appointment was well received, and he was widely regarded as a competent and effective diplomat. In May 2012, he made a bold call for the United States to provide the Philippines with advanced naval patrol vessels, aircraft, radar systems, and coastal surveillance facilities to help safeguard its sovereignty against China's territorial claims in the South China Sea. He recognized the importance of maintaining the country's territorial integrity and asserted the Philippines' right to defend its sovereignty against external aggressors. Rosario was recognized for his outstanding contributions to society through various honors and awards. In 1991, he was awarded the Philippine Army Award by President Aquino for his initiatives as chair of the Makati Foundation for Education. On September 15, 2014, he was awarded the Tanging Dangal Award, the highest recognition given to a Bulaqueño who demonstrates outstanding contributions to society. Moreover, on September 24, 2015, he was conferred an honorary Doctor of Laws degree from New York's College of Mount St. Vincent for his commitment to democracy, advocacy for the poor, opposition to corruption, and promotion of peaceful change in the Philippines. Sadly, his tenure as Secretary of Foreign Affairs was cut short due to health reasons. In February 2016, he announced his resignation, citing a spinal condition. He stepped down on March 7, 2016, almost four months before the end of President Aquino's term. Despite his resignation, he continued to be an influential figure in Philippine society, recognized for his significant contributions to the country's political and diplomatic landscape. Tragically, Rosario passed away on April 18, 2023, while en route to San Francisco, California. He was 83 years old at the time of his death. Rosario's death marks the end of an era in Philippine politics. He will be remembered as a fearless leader who stood up to China and fought for the rights and welfare of his fellow Filipinos. His legacy will live on, inspiring future generations of leaders to uphold the values of integrity, diplomacy, and public service. Your support means the world to us, so if you've not done so already, please subscribe to the channel and take a look at our other videos. Thanks for watching, this has been NDP News, and we'll see you in the next one.